the Australian movie that's taken Broadway by storm. Moulin Rouge, the musical, has been hailed as the biggest karaoke night by the New York Times, but it has swept the floor at the Tonys. 14 nominations, it's won nine so far. We've got our fingers crossed waiting to see if it wins yes. Best Musical, which we should find out very soon. Let's take a look at what all the fuss is about. No matter your sin, you're welcome here. No matter your desire, you're welcome here. But this is more than a nightclub. The Moulin Rouge is a sight of mine to find. And you just saw uh, Danny Burstein playing Ziedler there yes. on Broadway. Well, here in Australia, we're not going to have to wait long to see it on stage either because it's taking to the stage in Melbourne very soon. And as Danny mentioned, in the role of Ziedler will be Simon Burke. And we're joined by him now as well as Alinta Chizzy. It's great to see you both. Simon, did you hear what Danny just had to say about you backstage? I actually did. I'm, I'm kind of floored. What a, what a fantastic guy. He's... Uh... You know, it was just it was just wonderful to hear that. So so pleased that he's won. It was his seventh uh, nomination and his first win, and totally deserved. Like, he's just the most incredible guy. Just beautiful. Oh, Simon, the musical is of course an adaptation of Baz Luhrmann's movie. Why do you think it's translated so well to a stage show? Lindy, oh, I thought you were going to take it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, um, Baz Luhrmann created this uh, lavish and fantastical world of music, you know, movie musical and reinvented it for the modern era. And Catherine uh, Martin obviously did the, the costumes and the sets and it really lends itself to be a, a live performance and it's just going to blow people away. And the, the creative team from the US have just blown it into another world um, of a spectacle. So we have all the favourite songs from the movie, uh, but this version on stage also has some more contemporary editions of uh, contemporary songs, if you like. What's your favourite, Alinta, that's in the, new, in the new show? Well, there's definitely the classics um, that everyone loves from the film, like Come What May, Roxanne, Your Song, but then Tony Award winning Justin Levine has compiled 75 pop songs into the show which keeps the theatre piece keep uh, running at a fast pace and one of my favourite production numbers has to be Bad Romance. I think it's going to get a standing ovation. It's that good. I it's amazing. Like, every time any, anyone, a, a, anyone opens their mouth, one of, any of our cast opens their mouth, there's just another song that comes out. Um, it's just... I think one of the best moments for me was the first time Alinta sang Firework. The whole cast was just there. Katy Perry's Firework. Um, to Maggie sings Nature Boy, so it's it's this great mixture of the of the wonderful songs of the movie plus uh, plus the you know the great songs of the last ten years. It's it's like having six chocolate milkshakes at once. You just can't, <laughs> you just can't get enough of it. It's just so cool. Um, as we mentioned, the Tony Awards are happening as we speak in the US, and the Broadway version of this show has already taken home awards for choreography, orchestration, sound design, lighting, costume design, scene design, and performance. And there are still more more awards to be announced. It's the first Australian production to originate on Broadway. What does it feel like to be part of such an honoured show? It feels absolutely incredible. We have a uh, the, you know, we're, we're all separated at the moment because we've got a little pause in rehearsals, but the, the cast has an Instagram group chat, which has been going since nine this morning, and it is going off in that thing. We are also proud of, uh, of the creatives. The creatives that have won awards tonight have just been with us, you know, in, in Melbourne for the last sort of three months, um, rehearsing with us. So we've become very close. It's like a family and we feel, we feel so privileged to be part of, of such a wonderful show. So when do we think we'll be able to see it here in Australia? Seventh nomination. Well, it's definitely um, going to be very soon. Um, we're hoping uh, in November uh, the latest, and it obviously depends on the vaccines that everyone... Please get vaccinated. Um, if we get to 80%, we can open the doors to everyone, and this is what we want to share with the world. Awesome. Especially yes. for Melbourne. Melbourne has lived through so much, you know, like the, longest, uh, the longest lockdown of any city in the world, and a show like this, guys, you know, you are just going to have such a great time, so get double-vaxxed and yeah. come and see us in November.
All I can say is you'd better let us Sydney siders in to come and see you. Moulin Rouge, the musical, hits the stage, as we said, very soon. And for more information, head to moulinrougemusical.com. If you want to catch more of the Tony Awards and the fabulous Broadway's back concert, you can head to Tempeach or watch it on Paramount+. Plus. Alinta, Simon, can't wait to see you on stage in the flesh. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you. Great to see you.